Good day and welcome back to the Hopkins Demonstration Forest for part 17 of What is a Forest? And today we're doing our virtual timber cruise or forest inventory activity. And this video will introduce you to the plot, uh, talk about what we measured and what you need to do in order to complete this inventory. So let's get started. So if you look behind me, you'll notice there are some letters on some of the trees. So we're gonna pan around and you'll get a chance to see the whole plot, look up and look down with this video. But those letters mark the trees that were inside our 10th acre plot. So we put in a 37.2 foot radius plot and every tree that landed within, within the bounds of that plot, we marked with a letter. So we've done that work for you. So your job will be to first start, you know, simply just count the number of trees and figure out, you know, how many trees are in this plot and what does that mean per acre? Remember, 10th acre plot. So for each tree though, we're going to have a photo and we'll have a link to where these are uh, stored online, but you're gonna be able to go to a, a photo which will have the letter. And on that photo, there is going to be a diameter. Now we're not gonna give you the actual diameter of the tree, but what we're going to do is show you the actual measurement in a picture. So it's gonna be your job to determine the diameter. The next thing we're gonna do is measure tree height. So I'm gonna be using a tool that you uh, saw in a video before, have used before, a clinometer. Um, actually, I'll also be conferring with uh, the laser just to uh, make sure we get the accuracy needed um, to, to check our answers. But we're going to be measuring tree height. Now, I'm going to be taking a shot to the top of the tree and to the very bottom. So a lot of times uh, we want to measure to the merchantable height. But given the fact that everyone's doing their inventory a little differently uh, or their timber crews, we're going to be measuring to the... Uh, top of the tree, the total height, and uh, looking at these trees with the size and the taper, their merchantable height is about 15% off, or 85%, depends on how you want to look at it, of the total height. So to get to the merchantable top, which is that three and a half uh, inch break for us out here, three and a half inches is about 15% down from the top, or 85% up from the bottom. So use that as your conversion factor if you need to um, do a merchantable height uh, calculation. So you're gonna have that information uh, as well as uh, everything else that you can get from this video. Another thing that uh, I did was we did core a tree. And I have a photo of this as well, uh, the core sample that uh, will be online along with those diameters and heights that you're gonna have to calculate. And I say heights, again, we're giving you the uh, percent slope to the bottom, percent slope to the top. It, it's, it's your uh, job to uh, calculate that. But we're also gonna do some other measurements out here uh, like uh, canopy closure, ground cover. So let's pan around the area while I talk a little bit about it, try to organize some of my stuff so it doesn't distract. But this 10th acre plot at a 31 or 37.2 uh, foot radius, I'm going to do a quick pan around and you can count the, uh, or start uh, doing the alphabet with the trees. Uh, so you can see A, and as we roll around, I'm just going to pan nice and slow. Again, there is a video out there that will have the 360 degree shot that allow you to do this on your computer. It's only a minute long, but you can replay it and pause it. So as I come around this plot, I'm back on with uh, with center. So uh, I'm not gonna tell you the, the, the letters that it, it, it ends with, but it starts with A. And uh, then the next thing we wanna do is take a look up at this plot center. So if I look straight up, one of the things I can do here, uh, obviously there is a nice look up at uh, canopy closure. So the camera is looking straight up right now. But another thing I could do, if I look off at some of those lettered trees, 
is make an estimate, if you can, for, uh, in this video, it's a little difficult, the 360 is better, uh, but do an estimate of what the um, live crown ratio is. So where do those green branches start? Uh, another thing I was going to do, but since every tree in here turned out to be a Douglas fir, um, all these tree species are the same. So every tree that has a letter on it is a Douglas fir. Now the next thing I'm going to do is go down and pan down, and you will notice uh, there is a rectangular, or preferably a square, um, if I did it right. Uh, that is one ten thousandth of an acre. So there's two of these plots put in. So one, uh, you can do a little bit of the vegetation cover. Um, if you can, you can pull out a plant guide. It's a little difficult. We're still recovering from the ice damage. So there quite a bit of this was really packed down, but uh, even in the stand itself, you can look around and identify some of the understory conditions and species. Go back to center there again. So again, um, welcome to your virtual uh, 10th acre inventory plot. Uh, we will have the links and instructions uh, in the description on how to uh, find the uh, images. It'll have the letter, the diameter tape reading, so you have to determine the diameter in inches, and then for the height, we will give you the feet that we were away from the tree. So 50, 100, 200, uh, we're not going to get too creative and be like 157, but give you the distance away from the tree, uh, as well as the bottom percent slope reading and the top percent slope reading. Again, if you want to use a merchantable height, given the taper of these trees, it's about 85% of the total height, or just subtract a 15% height deduction um, to get to that merchantable top. And outside of that, uh, the forest is yours to uh, explore. I will leave with one last uh, pan around, and uh, hopefully you can enjoy the uh, activity. Alrighty, well again, go to that uh, 360 degree video, um, reverse, pause, um, gather your information, go get those uh, diameters, and uh, hope, uh, hopefully you enjoyed uh, the activity and uh, learned a little bit in the process. So uh, next time, uh, hope to see you real soon.